So you've probably seen it somewhere on the internet or you've talked to friends and they speak to you about the rule of 72. And you probably just leave yourself kind of scratching your head, still not try trying to understand what it is. Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly what the rule of 72 is and why it can be important for you. Coming up. Hey there, it's Billy with Keep On Cash Flow, and I'm here once again to share some tips as well as tactics with you that are gonna help you to go out and make more money, gonna help you to have more control over your free time, and ultimately they're gonna help you to live with a lot less stress. So if it's your first time here, why don't you do yourself a favor and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I just like to ask right up front, if you find value in this video, could you do me a favor and like the video as well as leave your comments so I can know exactly what it was that you liked about it and share it with a friend because if this was valuable for you, I'm sure if you're sharing it with people that are like you, they're also gonna find value in you sharing it with them. So, and I'd like to thank you for that right up front. So, you probably got into this video in some way because you wanted to understand a little bit more about the seven, the rule of 72. Either you've been in a conversation and someone's mentioned it or you've been reading something or you've been moving more and more towards investing and people are talking to you about the rule of 72 and you maybe don't want to feel uncomfortable and say, mm, I don't really know what it is. First of all, I'm going to recommend if you don't know something, just ask the question. It's okay. That's the fastest way to learn. Uh, but if not, keep coming back and watching these videos and I'm happy to share the things that I know uh, with you because it's going to help you do it in an environment in which you feel safe. So, and I guess the easiest way to think about the rule 72 is most of us enjoy understanding something and having a shortcut or having a general idea more or less. Like if you want to take a trip in a car, you want to know if it takes more or less two hours or more or less 15 hours, right? And then based on that, you can decide whether or not the trip is worth it for you. In the most simplest form, that's kind of what the rule of 72 does. Because the rule of 72, and it, if we think about an investment, basically what it does is it kind of gives you this high level estimate of how long it's gonna take you to double your money in the simplest way. Like that's really what it is. The rule of 72 says, um, yeah, how long is it gonna take you at a certain um, percentage of investment or return on investment, uh, how long is it gonna take you to double your money? And I know we've talked about some of these different concepts in the past, like I said, we've talked about the uh, return on investment, I've done other videos on that, and this could also be somewhat similar to the things that we talked about, the, the payback period. How long is it gonna take you to recuperate your money? In this term, it's not just how much, how long is it gonna take you to get your money back, but how long is it going to take to double it? And I'm just gonna use two examples so that it makes it really, really simple, and then you can go on and get into your next conversation about the rule of 72. So imagine that you found an investment, and that investment is going to provide you with a, an annualized return of let's say 12%. Well, here's the really easy math to figure out at a high level, and this is, like I said, it's not this super, super um, specific or precise, but it just gives you a general idea. So you would take the number 72 and you would divide that by the 12% that we talked about, and that would tell you that 72 divided by 12 is going to give you approximately six years to get the return on uh, to double your investment, excuse me. And if we did just the opposite and we said, okay, well, how long, what if we only got half of that 12% and, and the return, annualized return was 6%? Well, let's do the math again. If it's um, 72 divided by six is gonna take you, surprise, surprise, twice the amount of time or 12 years. So as are just two examples to figure out and that could be investing in uh, stocks, I like to think about it investing in real estate, and it's just a really easy rule of thumb. Now, if you wanna be really, really precise and not a lot of people talk about this, in order to get really specific, you'd actually have to divide it by 72.73. That's just my little tip for today because you've watched the video up until this point. So, um, that was easy, right? Go out, you can talk about the rule of 72 and even look at it in some of your investment opportunities and figure out how long is it gonna take you to potentially or an estimate of returning that or doubling your money. So anyway, you know I love to ask you questions. Uh, so what'd you think about the rule of 72? Was it easier than you thought? Uh, was it not? 
And who are you gonna share this video with? Because don't forget, if you found value in the video, go out, share it with others, give me a like, and definitely leave me your comments. So, and for those of you who wanna know a little bit more, I'm a guy who works and lives in Europe. I invest in assets back in the United States. And um, I've spelled out a pretty clear roadmap on how to do that, a very clear roadmap on how to do that. All you need to do is go to keeponcashflow.com forward slash roadmap and you can pick up uh, your free ebook. So this is Billy. It's my two cents for today. Don't forget to like, share and comment. And uh, as I always like to say, hasta la próxima.